Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and in this challenge round, we're going to build exactly the same as in last challenge. What? The same? Well, we're going to build the same visual. However, the approach that we're going to take is completely different. Let's have a look. If you're finding us for the first time, we post challenges on a regular basis and different how-to videos on Power BI. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all of our videos. Now let's have a look at the challenge. If you did our last challenge, round eight, then you might remember this chart over here, where we are showing the total hours worked on different projects. Now, when we hover over one of the bars, let's say for project A, then you see that we have there at the bottom of the tooltip, the top three most involved people. Now to get the top three based on the total amount of hours they worked on that project, we approach this with Power Query. However, we can also do it with DAX. And that's what this challenge is about. And let's have a look again at the underlying Excel file that we are connecting to. So here we have a time tracking sheet that shows horizontally all of the different employees in the company. And here on the left hand side, we have different projects and a breakdown by week. So people can just fill out the hours and then we connect to that, import it into Power BI, make some transformations using Power Query to get it in this format. And we can use that data set to build a simple bar chart, just like this one, where we are showing the total amount of hours worked, broken down by the different projects. Now the challenge is to create a concatenated list of the top three people so that I can add that to my tooltip. And when I hover over one of the bars, it shows me the top three of the most involved people. What is also important is that you sort the top three in descending order. So that Lars is the one that worked the most, second place Mark and then Peter. And for project B, that is Wesley, Stephanie, Jay. Now in addition, you need to create a breakdown that allows us to split the total amount of worked hours by the top three and the other employees. Okay, so that we see two bars for each project. And also when we create a further breakdown on the y-axis, let's say we take the week, and then when we have the breakdown by the weeks as well, when I hover over project A week one, you see the top three most involved people are Lars, Mark, Mickey, and then week two, we have Beth, Mark, and Lars. Are you gonna take on the challenge to solve it with DAX? Now if you do, then also make sure that you give it a grade on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the most difficult, so that we can grade all of our challenges, which makes it easier for people that are looking for challenges that kind of match their skill level. So we highly appreciate it. And of course, if you want to get feedback or you need a little bit of help, then let us know in the comment section below. As always, the details for this challenge you find in the description section below. I wish you good luck and I hope to see you in the solution video.